In this video, we'll change static HTML posts in our application with real data from our post table. And here I have 10 posts. So let's go back to our editor. If we take a look at routes PHP file, here in the root route definition, which is home page of our application, it instantly returns the view blog.index. We can even load a model and pass to view. But put all logic in one routes file isn't good practice. So we need better organizing in our code. How can we do that? We can do that by putting all logic in controller. So here in the route, it just translates HTTP requests and method and hand over all implementation in controller. So here, let's change this closer to associative array. We'll hand over it to index method in block controller. Since block controller doesn't exist, we'll make it using artisan. Let's go to our terminal and type PHP artisan make controller block controller. Now, let's open that file. And here, let's create the method we need. And for now, let's test by displaying a message. Let's test. Okay, the message is show up. Back to our editor. And change the method to return the view blog index. Back to our browser and refresh. Okay, our page is show again. Now it's time to display all posts from the database in this page. Let's go back to our editor. And here in view helper function, let's pass associative array in the second parameter. Here I'll call compact, which is used to create array from variable and its value. Let's say posts. Above here, don't forget to define that variable. We put all posts to here. And because the namespace of the post model is different with block controller, don't forget to import the namespace above here. Next, let's display this data in our view. Let's go to resources views directory and open index.blade.php file. Here we have three static HTML content. We only need one. So remove the rest. We call for each to iterate all posts. And we put this in loop. And tidy up the code. Let's see in our browser. Okay, now we have 10 posts displayed. But all items are still the same. Let's go back to our editor and change the title and blog excerpt. Let's see. Now the heading and the excerpt has changes. Next, let's change the post image. Let's see again. Okay, the post image now has changes. But the post which has not image, it's look odd. We'll fix it later. Let's go back to our editor. And here, let's fix the calling of image post. This way isn't good practice, because if, let's say, we move all files of the image post to other directory, or maybe put them all in our server, we have to change all image post calling in all places. So here, let's replace the EMG to image URL. The image URL is an accessor which we'll define in our model. Let's open the post model and create the accessor. The accessor start with get followed by column name in camel case and end with attribute. For more detail about accessor, you can find it in Laravel documentation. 
Ok, firstly, we make sure the post has the image. In this case, it's not null. After that, we check if the file exists in the server. We've placed the image in public directory, and we can call the helper function public path. To make sure, let's see in the Laravel documentation. We call public path, or to make it readable, we store it in a variable, let's say image path. Don't forget to define the variable path. So here if the image file exists in the server, we put the URL of the image in image URL variable. And we define it above here. Below that, just return the image URL. Back to browser, and refresh. Alright, the post which has an image still look out. And other posts are good. Let's inspect the element. As you can see here, the image search is empty. We have to hide the emg tag if it has no image. Back to our editor. Jump to index blade PHP file. And we put the post item image in if condition. Back to browser and refresh. Okay, much better.